Hey YouTubers, um, I just want to make a video on how to make sweet montages with Windows Movie Maker. Um, okay, if you have Windows 7, Windows 7 just comes with it. I mean, Windows 7 doesn't come with it, but Windows XP and Windows Vista does. But Windows XP comes with the older version of it, and Windows Vista comes with a version called Windows Movie Maker 2.6. That's the one you want. Windows 7 does not come with this one. Um, just go to my YouTube video. I have a video on how to get this certain one. It's from Microsoft, so you don't really have to, um, like, download it, like, uh, get, like, from a certain site that might be infected. It's from Microsoft, like, Microsoft.com. Um, so, what you go, when you first pull it up, it's going to come up with something like this, these blocks. Um, you really don't want that, because that's not getting down to, like, precise, um, accurate of, like, what you want to do. But what this is, is just splits in the video, um... So you want to go to store um, timeline, and this is what should come up. Um, I'm going to delete these, and then I'm going to import them again. So you just want to go over here, click import video, and find your montage wherever you saved it. And I'm just going to get my wildlife in here. And it's it, it's going to take a lot of import, especially if you uh, have a montage. Like my Halo, my Halo one I just made. Um, that was a crappy capture card. There, you guys might think that sucks. But, uh, that's the best we could do, me and my friend. That's the only one he's got. I'm, I'm glad he has it, too. So, there's two clips right here. Um, you can just go over it, and it'll say how long it is, where it says duration. And it says 12 seconds. You just click on it, and you can just play it before you put it in here. Okay. Now I'm just going to drag these and put them in here. Okay. Oh my gosh, Pinnacle Studio, go away. Okay, so now once you have them in here, you should just be able to play it. Okay, so, um, I'm going to go back, and you can just go here, and you can zoom in on this timeline. So you can zoom in like this, and then when I zoom out, you see these get closer. So, I'm going to get this, and I'm going to drag it to wherever I want to mess around with. So, see these horses? Um, I'm going to go to the beginning of where they start running, and I'm going to try to make them slow. Okay, so I'm going to click play, and I'm going to make them slow about right there. Make sure you're clicked on this, or else it won't let you split it, and then you're just going to see now that should not be unhighlighted. Right there, I'm going to click, and see, this is this is what happens. It will uh, spit like that. And what that is, see, here's a block. There should only be two of that and that like black and that, but now that I split it, there's that, and it will be highlighted on the one clip that you just splitted. But, um, like, see, I click on this one, and that was the third one block. Now, whatever I clicked on, it will be highlighted here, so you know, know which one it is. So, um, I'm going to go back, and I don't want to make this slow-mo too long. And I'm going to make it stop right there. And split it, and see, now I have four clips. When you go here, there's four. So now I'm going to click on this that I want to be slow mo, and I'm going to right click, video effects, scroll down until I find slow down half. I'm going to click that and click add, and then I'm going to click OK, and now watch. Or you can't really tell, so hold on. Let me go more. There we go, now watch. See, they're going fast. Dang, dude, what the heck? Hold on, freaking lagging since I'm using uh, Cam Studio. And slow.
right there. Okay, so let's say I want to make this part look weird with all these birds. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to video effects, and then you can use all these crazy things. Um, hue makes it like a rainbow. I'm gonna go with uh threshold. I'm gonna add that. And now watch. That's what happens to the birds. So, um, you can just mess around with all that. And then you only go to finish movie, save to my computer. Oh, hold on. Say you want it HD, kinda. Go to tools, options. Make go to advanced and make sure this is on NTSC and 16 by 9. That's widescreen. Let's click OK. Save to my computer. And then name it whatever you want. We'll name it J. And go to next. Do not click that. Unclick that. Or show more choices. And then other settings. Then scroll down and go to high quality video large. And then just click next. And I saved your computer, and then you can publish it on YouTube. Um, thanks for watching. <coughs> See you guys later.